da 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 This is one intense movie. You know, we've had how many films in the past have taken this approach, notably in the horror and thriller genre, um, and, and some of which are attributed here, actually, I believe, through uh, certain credits, but uh, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. But how many films have we seen at this point? It's, again, this is becoming a huge mainstay now of films filmed through Skype cams or webcams, right? And it, 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 essentially like on a desktop computer and their stories are told through, you know, past video footage or recorded stuff like that. I mean, it's a cool approach. I like, I like types of movies like that. I've really enjoyed some of the ones I've seen in the past, including one I'll credit here that is in somewhat attached, but this one out of all the ones I've seen, actually, let, let me start there. So focus features is released in this movie. We've apparently also, it's based on a book by uh, Anna Arell. We're going to get to that in a minute, but it's produced by uh, Tamir, Bekmambatov, I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly, but he's, pro- he's produced Unfriended, Unfriended 2, and Searching. I haven't seen Unfriended or Unfriended 2. Searching. Well, I, I saw parts of Unfriended number 1, uh, but Searching I did, and Searching I loved. And it's similar, well, that one also had a very, well, the other ones were kind of more, more so just like horror films. Um, for Blumhouse, I believe. Searching was about, of course, you know, John Cho started the movie, it was about a, a man who lost his daughter, essentially for unexpected reasons, he was trying to figure out where, you know, she was. This is very different. I am definitely for complexity in terms of these types of films, but this is going deep. So Profile, if you've never heard about this, we're going to look at two different synopses today. One's a little more basic in its approach. The other one's a little more nuanced, but I think it, 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 to read the two gives a, a holistic perspective. So this is what it says according to IMDb. I'm going to read the Wikipedia synopsis after that. An undercover British journalist infiltrates the online propaganda channel of a so-called Islamic State, only to be sucked in by her recruiter. Now Wikipedia says this. In order to investigate the recruitment of young European women by a certain terrorist group, journalist Amy Whitaker creates a new Facebook profile under the alias of Melody Nelson. She creates a persona online of a woman who has recently converted to Islam. Soon Amy is contacted by Bilal, a, a fighter for that group from Syria. They begin to talk to each other regularly, and after some time, she begins to develop real romantic feelings for him. Um, again, very complex. Now, as I said, this is based on a book. I forget the title of the book, but it's uh, written by Anna Arell. This is, uh, again, very relevant in terms of its scope. I mean, obviously, we can look at certain news headlines, at least over the recent couple of years. And if, if this is happening, because I assume probably it did because it's based on the book here. Um, and again, I, I need to consult the book to get a better feeling for maybe some of the other aspects of the project. But based on the synopsis, if there's anything to be gleaned from this, irrespective, you know, again, of whatever bad entity it might be, in this case, it happens to be a terrorist group, but this can apply to many different situations. There's any message to be gleaned to, at least from what I can see. Parents need to be very careful. Well, actually, parents, everybody should be very well aware of online safety. If, if you're putting yourself in a compromised position online, it could potentially be very dangerous. As you will see, I'm sure, on full display of profile. And for parents, you know, especially for, for kids. Um, I, I've seen this notably. There's another movie. Uh, it, this has nothing to do, of course, the profile. It's a very, it, well, I mean, it, it, it's not filmed in the same way, but it's a, a different story. It's called Trap Model. It was a TV movie. And that one, okay, that one I was watching the trailer for. And yes, that was a, that looked like a very strong film. Uh, which is surprising because sometimes I've seen like films in, in you think like TV movies and think like Hallmark or something like that or Lifetime. This was different. It was actually a very uh, well. I mean, it had that TV films aesthetic, but it was very nuanced in terms of the story and the complexities to which we can consider different viewpoints of maybe where to extrapolate that uh, the, the themes of the movie into real life. And that movie was actually about a, a woman who sort of was. Uh, enticed into a modeling industry, but essentially, well, it wasn't really a modeling industry. She was kidnapped, but she was lured in through, I think it was like online emails. And if I remember, it was like, like no experience necessary, just, just, uh, just outside beauty or something like that. Grooming, just grooming, bringing them in. This happens a lot though. How many times have you read a story, um, in, in you know, online where children go somewhere on a certain website and the next thing you know, parents can't find them. Right? How many times have you heard that type of story? Or in this case, the movie, someone gets sucked, as they say in the IMDb synopsis, someone's sucked in by her recruiter. Right? As, as with Wikipedia, she begins to develop romantic feelings. 
I mean, again, this could go into a romance, but I, I don't think it is, though. I think what they're trying to establish, again, is if there's anything to be gleaned here, online safety. Before you get recruited by bad people and for nefarious purposes, you need to be aware of where you are at at all times, making sure you are being safe, not just in life, but online. It, it, it's very intense, uh, just reading that synopsis. I, I, I'm really... And again, I, I've seen this one advertised for a while. I just haven't got a chance to cover it yet. Let's take a look at the main trailer. And then we're going to watch a Make Enough feature. Right? That one should be really... <laughs> that should be a watch. Um, we're going to watch this first. And we're going to talk about it more in my condensed review segment. Following us watching the video together. Okay, the main trial or trailer for Profile. Without further ado. Here we go. Let's take a look. Oh, it must not all be filmed by... Because, I mean, there was the first opening shot, and it wasn't filmed on the computer. Amy, you're the best journalist we have. I need something that's going to get people talking. Huge fan of her. That's cool to see her casting. We're investigating the story about young women being recruited by extremists over social media. This is brilliant. When I grow up. How do you make contact? I created a fake profile, posing as a young convert to lure one of the recruiters to me. I'm going to share my screen. Even oh, uh, do you think? <laughs> the IT guys can record your desktop. Amy, tattoos are prohibited. Can you see the tattoo? No. Ready to go. Ah, oh, the Skype call. I'm going to record it all. Salam alaikum, my sister. Wow. Tell me about you. You're beautiful. In the beginning, he would be testing the waters. He's a hunter. He wants to seduce me first. I love you! Only then will he give me a guide into the recruitment process. Come here. I'll give you everything you need. A whole new life. A very happy one. You have to believe me. It's paradise. You're brave. So I admire in a man. Can I Extremely you? intense. I don't want to talk about that over the internet. There's journalists everywhere. Journalists. And yeah, they've got no morals. They're vultures, you know? Exactly. You're full of surprises, aren't you? Am I your type? Yeah, you're hot. I don't want to do the fighting and the cooking. I'll go after you. Babe, is everything all right? I'm fine. If I want to come to Syria, what do I need to do? You make me feel happy right now. Are you falling in love with him? It's all just part of the recruitment process. Ah, uh, Baker. What's the training program like for converts like us? Hey, baby. What are you looking at? Nothing, I'm looking at you. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? Baby, I, I bought the ticket. I'm coming. This has gone far enough. I'm reeling him in. Who's there with you? No, you say you're. What? Even oh when God, you're a I'm journalist, you have career. to exercise restraint. Or when you do any sort of like investigation, you have to you be careful. Out. We'll find you in a matter of minutes. No, 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 please don't. Delete your account. I need to make sure there's a connection so I know where he is if he's behind my door. Amy, what's going on? Dangerous mission indeed. I'm gonna treat you like a queen. Wow. Um, way to take the what would you call it? Like Skype call film? Or that type of form. Way to take it up to a new level. Um that that's intense. It's really I mean, like I said, searching kind of paved the way with doing a more nuanced story. Let me well, I I, I can't judge Unfriended, but Unfriended was fictionalized in its approach. It was more so just like it's a horror film. I think it was like what some girl like, a, a girl died tragically by suicide and then it I, I read the general story, like it's spearheaded into sort of this revenge story of her, I guess, ghost maybe or whatever. Um getting revenge on all her friends. It was, again, very traditional for a horror film. And then they had that dark web one. It was more so, like, hacker-based. I, I, I don't know exactly. But um, Searching was very different. That was more so, like, well, I, it, it was... I'm certainly watching the film going, man, this is... Uh, speaking of another movie, this is even what I was trying to think of. There's a... Um, I've talked about this one quite a bit now. I, I forget what it's called. Oh, shoot, I forgot the name. I, I used to say it all the time. Oh, Ratter. It's not by the same people, I don't believe. I don't think Tamir uh, Bekmamatov produced it. It is so good. It is, um, it's basically the same type of thing. It's just told over different types of uh, devices. But that one's essentially like a home invasion. But that one, that one really took the direction. I mean, again, like I said, Profile is taking the direct, uh, taking this into direction of not only in, uh, 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 relevancy and perhaps a, a certain ideas that we can extrapolate as a society and just as you know, individuals for, uh, 
uh, advocacy for in, on internet safety, even if you know it's workplace based. Um, but certainly, you know, if you're a journalist, certainly take steps. But like I said, it's it's leveling up that type of genre that I'm familiar with, just like Ratter did with Home Invasions. I mean that that movie. If, again, I just love to bring it up every single time. It's not, I mean, content-wise, it's a hard watch. Uh, it's not for kids. It freaked me out. You want to throw all your computers and devices away as soon as you watch that film. It is intense. But I'll tell you, it is a really, really good movie. But again, like I said, it just took a direction, that it took a genre that was very familiar, right? And it was becoming more so like a mainstay in certain markets. Paved a whole new direction for films you know, forthcoming. Which profile seems to be doing that again, relevant and definitely timely in the case of past history. And I want to know more about the story. I again, like I said, I haven't read the book by uh, Anne Arell. Perhaps again, this is based, I guess, on a journalist just getting a bit too chummy. And, the, and maybe you again, she started with good ambitions. I'm not saying she didn't, but um, it's just over time. Like I said, like I said with a trap model. Just over time, like grooming people, right? Just luring them in. You got to be careful. That's why I'm, a, why I'm very careful. Like, internet safety? I can speak for this. I can speak for this as a, as a teenager. I got in some bad spots, you know. Nothing illegal, but... Or, or nothing, you know, like this. But certainly just based on... Spiritually speaking, I got into bad spots. I'm like, you know, I was a kid. I had curiosity. I can certainly speak from past experience. It, in a lot of ways, just destroyed me. And so to this day, you know, as an adult, I, I just... I know, you know, especially speaking as a Christian, like all those, all that's thrown under the bridge as soon as you ask for repentance and whatnot, but still like, well, you know, it, it sticks with you. Maybe because you can talk about it later and be like, hey, you know, I've been there. I've been in a situation with, you know, not, not being careful online and not understanding that there's dangers. I get it. I get it completely. But if you needed a really, really like bull slap in the face as to the reality of what the online world can do to you, Go watch Profile. Very strong release. I'm excited to look at the feature and figure out how this was made and what certain steps got taken into it. What are your guys' thoughts with this movie? Let me know down below. Don't forget to get stuff with like, subscribing, the sharing, and hitting that bell until we get to watch our next found, uh, well, I guess, Skype call film. Which, if it gets past this, I mean, I'll be impressed. But this is like, again, like I said, really intense, really deep, relevant, makes a bold impression. I'll see you guys at what point that happens to be. But for now, thanks for watching this video. I love you guys. Don't forget to love your fellow man. God bless and peace.